you all already know that horror movie characters have a bad case of rot in the brain where their common sense should be. In order for a movie to deliver the right amount of blood, gore, and screams, the characters have to be fairly open to making terrible decisions, meaning more often than not, they're not the brightest star in the shed or the sharpest tool in the sky. But even taking into account the usual trappings of a horror character, there are some who do things so outrageously stupid it is hard to suspend disbelief long enough to keep from shouting at the screen. With that in mind then, there are thousands of horror movies featuring moronic characters. But these are just some of the most foolish of the bunch. It only goes up to seven because I can't count to ten. I am the Mensa member, Ash from What Culture Horror, and these are the seven most stupid characters in horror movies. 7. Jaws – Maya Larry Vaughan Maya Larry Vaughan has a big problem in the movie Jaws. How do you balance the safety of your constituents with the need to generate income? Well, silly, you don't. When the first victim is found, it's clear that a large predator is stalking the beachgoers in the area, which creates a panic, naturally. After all, most people aren't going to want to set foot in the water if doing so means being torn to shreds by a gigantic, bloodthirsty shark, which is fair enough, really. So, our dear old Mayor Vaughan finds himself being advised by a world-renowned shark expert and the chief of police who tell him that he should absolutely not reopen the beaches. The advice falls on deaf ears, and the mayor goes on television to let people know they have nothing to fear. There was ample evidence of a terrible threat, but the mayor simply doesn't listen, and people, plus one unfortunate dog, die as a result. His actions are stupid to say the least, but also flagrantly indifferent to the safety and health of his community. That he does it all again in Jaws 2 just makes the whole thing more of a facepalm. 6. Sleepy Hollow – Brom Van Brunt In Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane becomes the unwitting subject of Brom Van Brunt's ire upon meeting Katrina Van Tassel. Crane is there to investigate some beheadings, but Brom's only concern is intimidating the inspector because he received a look from his woman. When the horseman rides into town to slay the Killian family is when his boneheaded determination plays out to its most extreme degree. The horseman is singular in his mission and wants nothing to do with Brom, but he runs to the trouble and shoots the Hessian with a musket in an attempt at valiant heroism all the same. Pressing on with his useless attack only ends up with him getting hit with the handle of the horseman's sword. Undeterred, Brom grabs a pair of sickles and makes for the headless horseman once more. Crane realizes that the horseman only harms the people he's there to kill, but Brom will not listen. He enrages the horseman again and is bifurcated for his trouble. Brom has everything at his disposal to be better, but prioritizes his own brawn and machismo over being actually effective in a useful way. A pity. 5. Aliens – Lieutenant Gorman There's a long-standing joke in the military that a lieutenant can get everyone killed due to the fact they're in charge, but woefully inexperienced. It seems this continues well into the future, as Lieutenant Scott Gorman perfectly depicts the green lieutenant who does, in fact, get everyone killed. In Aliens, Lieutenant Gorman is assigned as the commanding officer of the 2nd Battalion Bravo team of the US Colonial Marine Corps. He and his unit are tasked with deploying to LV-426 to investigate the loss of communications with the colonists at Hadley's Hope. Instead of colonists, however, they find a ton of xenomorphs. Soon after landing, Gorman is injured and he ends up losing control of his unit relatively quickly. He orders them into the atmosphere processor, but because of the danger of creating a massive nuclear explosion, he confiscates their ammunition. Starting strong here. He is such a failure in his command that Private Vasquez has to be restrained from killing him after he's knocked out and left unconscious. When he comes to a few hours later, Gorman realizes his inability to lead the unit and sees command to the far more experienced Corporal Hicks. 4. Friday the 13th Part 7 The New Blood – Judy If a character finds themselves in a Friday the 13th film and they are not Jason Voorhees, odds are they're going to do something stupid and get themselves impaled on the wrong end of a blade. The franchise is all about punishing dumb, horny teenagers, and Part 7, The New Blood, is no exception. In the movie, we have Judy. Judy went for a fun camping trip with her boyfriend Dan near Crystal Lake. Initially, Dan comes on to her, but she shrugs off his advances, preferring he go out to find firewood at night by himself, which he does, like an idiot. Judy then goes into the tent and undresses before moving into a sleeping bag. After a while, she hears someone walking outside the tent and sees their boots through the tent's opening. Assuming it's Dan, she calls out to him. Then she gifts us with the true dumb decision. The boots end up belonging to Jason, who slashes through the tent. Seeing this, she freaks out, and instead of getting out of her sleeping bag and running away, she ducks into it like a child might hide under their blanket for protection. Jason simply picks up the bag with the squirming Judy and slams it against a tree, killing her instantly. 
3. Prometheus Milburn 2012's Prometheus may not have lived up to the hype surrounding it, but it did still manage to deliver a creepy, underrated entry into the Alien franchise. The film follows a crew who arrive on a planet in search of the engineers, but instead of finding a thriving civilization, they stumble upon a derelict spacecraft and a temple. Inside, they find numerous strange artifacts as they explore, with biologist Milburn and a fellow crew member eventually cut off from the larger group in the process. After a few shenanigans to lighten the tone, Milburn comes face to face with an extraterrestrial creature he has never seen before. Naturally, this trained biologist is fascinated and enthralled by it. Unnaturally, he thinks that means it's fair game to try and stroke the damn thing. The critter displays what any normal person sees as threatening behavior, but Milburn dives in, trying to make contact. For his trouble, it wraps around and breaks his arm, sprays acid blood when cut, and ultimately crawls down his throat, killing him. That's what you get for trying to make friends. 2. Midsummer Mark Will Poulter's Mark gets a harsh rap in Midsummer, but you would have to agree that he has earned it. The mousy friend of Christian, the makes a concerted effort in being a dick, Mark is part of the group that goes to Sweden for the Midsummer festivities of a commune that soon reveals itself to be a cult. Not that anyone clocks quite what's going on until it's too late, of course. It's fair to say he makes a fool of himself more often than not throughout the runtime, but Mark all but carves his own headstone by taking a big old leak on an ancient ancestral tree. He then defends his ignorance with haughty dismissal as the commune are rightly enraged, reacting inappropriately to what could have easily been solved by, you know, not whapping it out and dropping a load of yellow cable in the middle of their community instead of a toilet. At dinner, he is then mysteriously led away by a woman. His dumb actions and inability to question why exactly this woman would be interested in the man that disrespected her home, earning him the pleasure of being skinned and then worn as a gross skin suit later on. No matter if you're busting for a whiz or looking for pleasures of the flesh, then, here's a lesson to all to just keep it in your pants. 1. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil – All of the Kids Tucker and Dale vs. Evil opts to take every horror movie trope and flip each one on its head. Instead of there being a couple of monsters roaming the woods, we get two gentle hillbillies desperate for a vacation, and a major misunderstanding that results in the deaths of a group of clueless college students by their own hands. It all starts when the kids spot Tucker and Dale at a petrol station. In genre-savvy style, they assume they're murderers. Each encounter from then on the group has with the men results in a seriously inaccurate misconception, and that leads to the horrific deaths of the kids by their own panicked reactions. One rushes to a wood chipper to push Tucker into it, for example, but ends up leaping head first into the machine. By the end of the movie, it is clear that the college kids are the real monsters, making the whole film something of a reverse horror. It is hilarious, but it also highlights the fact that every one of these college kids was a complete and total moron, not engaged with looking at the reality of the situation and letting blind fear lead them to their own ridiculous deaths. R.I.P. guys, R.I.P. And that's our list. What other stupid horror movie characters belong on this list? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash over on social media at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.